I gotta check to make sure that I'm filming. This bike is so crazy loud. Literally starting the bike in the garage and getting on it to leave, like my whole chest was vibrating. The whole bike, everything is like in there is vibrating. It's so crazy. I definitely think it's like one of my loudest bikes. It might really get me in trouble. Just because it like it attracts so much attention. It's bright red. It's like it's a very bright red, not like the Ducati. Ducati is kind of like a darker red, and it's extremely loud. So yeah, still got that check engine light, but hopefully not for long. And false neutral. I gotta get used to the different bikes. Each bike reacts differently some bikes i just barely have to tap it some bikes i gotta really like get into it and i'm gonna go in the back of this <laughs> what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel back on the fire blade you guys have been asking about it if it's fixed or not uh no as you guys see i still have the check engine light it is not fixed yet uh the last time i rode i didn't want to ride it like far or like you know uh for a long time because I didn't want the whole like it dying on me like going into lip mode uh, to happen which is why I haven't been riding it uh, until it's fixed uh, I as I told you guys I have been very very sick in the last like couple weeks so uh, I wasn't able to uh, fix it because Brandon and Troy were actually coming uh, locally to uh, work on the bike but I just couldn't take it to them because it was crazy raining and I was very sick so I don't want to ride in the rain and get even more sick uh, but tomorrow hopefully they should be coming in and they're gonna completely like deal with it right then and there uh, Brent himself is gonna be there as well so they're gonna be working on it and uh, figuring everything out and I guess like they're gonna do it until it's perfect so Again, I'm very excited to have it finally, like, you know, done and all that because I didn't really fully ride it with the uh, uh, headers. Like, as soon as I put the headers, that issue happened and I wasn't able to kind of, like, get a true feel to it without having any issues and all that. I've been kind of, like, a little worried because I don't want to, like, hurt the bike or if it's going into a mode to kind of, like, protect the engine and all that stuff. This bike is so loud. It kind of reminds me of the H2 to be honest. It's like very, very raspy. Raspy and just like screams. The H2 is like that. It's the only other bike that I know of that kind of reminds me of the H2. The H2 sounds so unique. This is the only bike that kind of reminds me of it. Oh my god. And it's like insanely fast. Like, I seriously forget how fast it is. Like most of my other bikes are kind of like, you know, with the power band, they're kind of smooth besides the H2, of course. Uh, I can kind of like give it gas, roll into it, you know, it's fine. But this bike, I just downshifted third, not even second gear. And just like giving it the slightest gas, I felt like it was throwing me back. Which is so crazy to me because I've ridden so many like fast bikes. And this is the only other bike besides the H2 that feels so like crazy and aggressive. Oh my god. Like I, I wish you guys can hear it in person. I'm pretty sure the camera doesn't pick up the audio obviously because the audio is inside my helmet. So it's crazy to me that I'm wearing a helmet and it's this loud. Like in perspective, the bike feels like it's so loud that it's like I'm not wearing a helmet. I don't know if you've ever rode like around the neighborhood or you were testing something and you rode without a helmet. That's how loud it feels like with a helmet. It's crazy. Oh my god. The power is just there. I love it. And it feels so stable. But yeah, this video is pretty much to update you guys about the fire blade what's going on with it as i said it is not fixed yet but hopefully it should be done very very soon uh yeah tomorrow they're coming in town bren is in town so he's gonna be working on it and they're gonna be perfecting the tune so hopefully it'll be all done no issues no check engine light it'll be reading the correct 
uh, I don't know whatever you call them like Fahrenheit Celsius the units and so yeah I'm definitely excited for that so I can be riding it more because I've been wanting to take it to meets I've been wanting to take it to like rides all type of things but I just can't because you know I'm too worried that it's gonna go into that limp mode and if I'm far from home or a place I don't know or like somewhere with no service I don't want to be stranded you know so yeah that's what's happening with the fire blade uh, we're gonna see also on the right back because as I said usually the first time like it's uh, the bike is fine and uh, runs normal but like then the second time I ride it to like another spot that's when the issue happens and uh, it goes into that limp mode as I said last time I rode it it didn't do that but this time uh, we'll see what happens so because like that issue might have been solved and the bike is good it's just the fact that I have that check engine light and the units that need to be adjusted all because of that European tune uh, that the bike had on it some European software so they're gonna completely switch it to the US not just like put a US map in the U European software or whatever I don't know too much about tuning but yeah I'll definitely keep you guys updated and I'll probably have Brennan Troy explain it properly better than I do to you guys and also we're probably gonna be doing uh, something else uh, which is velocity stacks for the RSV4 factory so I'm excited for that as well and okay like people are staring at me because this bike is crazy loud so I'm gonna pause right here and we'll continue when I'm riding back jeez this bike is so loud I feel like I was yelling in the helmet just to talk to you guys it's getting chilly real quick we're back just got me a little snack did I even put a screen protector on this I could have sworn I bought one but no I haven't put a screen protector on it I always put a screen protector on my screens so they don't get scuffed like this one is a little bit scratched probably from like cleaning it you see how like the whole thing vibrates literally this right here when I'm stepping on my rear brake it's vibrating oh it makes sense because the bracket is attached to it Yeah, the first time I was so confused because I've never had a bike do that. So I was like, what is vibrating? I thought something was loose. And it was literally just from the pipe. And now let's see if the bike is going to go into that limp mode or not. I can't wait for summer, honestly, or for some nice warm weather. I miss riding in the heat. I love the heat. It's so obnoxious. You can't be low key on it. We're just gonna go to a little spot, uh, get some videos of this beautiful bike another thing with this bike is that i really want to get carbon fiber parts for it but they really don't make much and they're very very expensive because only like allen barrier carbon makes them for it or at least the ones that i would want and i'm trying to keep as much red as possible just because i want something a little different you know like all of my bikes have a lot of carbon and you know just a little bit of color so i'm trying to keep this bike kind of OEM just replace the plastic parts of carbon but there's really not much like I can buy these right here which I really want to buy but if I just get these alone then it's gonna look weird you know so I want to do these I really wanted to do this piece but this they don't make just this piece they make like this with this with the whole side which would be cool in general but I don't know I just feel like I don't really want to do that I'm trying to keep like all the like colors and all of that on this bike yeah there's no like pretty sunset or clouds or anything today the bike looking pretty though 
So yeah, they make like this one piece. It's all like all the way here, this, and it goes all the way here. But I really like all the colors here, so I want to keep that. But I do want to get this piece replaced. They don't even make this. I really wanted to do this because you see that, so it really looks different. So I wanted this and this mainly. And yeah, this little piece. But as I said, like, they don't make that or this. They just make this. And I guess I could do the front and then get the sticker again because I want, like, you know, some contrast. That's the whole point. I don't want too much carbon on this bike. I think it looks good and different as is. So I'm trying to keep it like this. Just a little more flare, a little more carbon. Yeah, it's a pretty bike. I'm not sure. I think they make the frame too, like a frame cover. That would be cool too. Oh, I think they make this as well. I, w I would like to get this. This would be a cool addition because it's too much red here, I think. You know, break the red a little bit. But I don't know, it still looks because it's the fire blade, you know what I mean? Like with the Ducati, it's too much red and I don't really like the Ducati red as much as I like this one. That's why. Like, I can do the belly, but I'm definitely keeping this belly. This belly looks very cool in red with the Honda white riding matching the white stripe. You know, it's, it's just... This bike was done really nicely. And I really appreciate that. Oh, that's a big one. This piece. I can get this piece in carbon fiber. But this piece is, like, so expensive. It's like, I think it's, like, seven or $800 just for this piece. Which kind of makes sense because, you know, it's a big piece. But the problem is that, like, I don't know how this install process is gonna be it looks painful it looks like a lot of work so if I do this with this with this and I'm not sure I can't remember if they have the frame or not I think those four maybe the tail as well this right here that would be cool it's just bothering me that this and this is not gonna be carbon are these stickers no, I think this is paint no, it looks like st stickers, but then there is a PPF on top of it. I say, unless I get like this full carbon piece and try to get these stickers and put it on top of the carbon, that would be cool. But I'm just gonna lose the blue right here, so it'll be carbon and then blue, white, red. That'd be really cool, actually. Not a bad idea. But, but if you made it this far in the video, I'm gonna give you a little teaser. I should be, fingers crossed, buying a bike in the next like two days well for you guys I would have already either bought it or r literally read about to uh, so yeah little teaser there is gonna be a new bike coming to the channel let me know in the comments down below what do you think the bike is it's definitely one of the bikes that I have talked about before just I don't know which one I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna tell you which one and I might tease you guys a little bit more I might do a little couple uh, tease videos of which bike I got because I have a big big announcement that I will be announcing when I reveal the new bike so bear with me I'm gonna clickbait you a little bit just to mess with you guys but bear with me because the announcement is gonna be amazing and the new bike I think is gonna be great for the channel just a you know completion to the collection the seventh uh, bike that I feel like fits the rest of my bikes that's all I'm gonna say so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna take probably like some reels just mess around oh wow I already chipped my lever guard what the hell must have hit it like a rock but yeah yeah i guess it could have gone like under the radiator guard and smacked it by the way a lot of you guys asked me about what brand uh those lever guards are this is the brand it's the same brand that I'm using right here for my chain adjuster and I should be getting rear sets with from that same brand right here in black the silver doesn't look bad because it flows with exhaust but the black will clean it up so courtesy of motivation so check them out too link in the description down below but all right thank you so much for watching today's video just wanted to update you guys about the fire blade and the new upcoming bikes bike but oh did i say bikes okay maybe bike i don't know i don't know <laughs> that's lived all right love y'all thank you so much for watching peace out and ride safe